as I always say, when you chef it up, you just want to have some good food on the road, and you can do it in your car, RV, tent camping, wherever you are at. This is a great example of how you can do it. Hey everybody, David, AKA RV Jedi, AKA Car V Jedi, and it is the end of the year. Time to look back and celebrate uh, what the car camping experience was uh, for 2022. We're gonna start today with some of the top five meals I had on the road. So for those who have followed the channel, you know my motto, those who are new, you're about to hear it right now. There is no need to eat poorly on the road and I try never to do that when I'm out car camping. This year, I had some outstanding meals, and so now, I wanna share with you my top five favorite meals car camping in 2022. At number five, a gourmet burger on the road. Tonight, we're gonna to do something ab fab. We're gonna do a gourmet burger with some crack fries on the flat top, and this is going to be absolutely delicious. Next on the grill, time to drop the bacon. It is time to plate this bad boy up and eat it. And voila, there you have it. A gourmet burger with bacon and cheese and onions uh, and some crack fries all done on the flat top. Let's try them. Mmm, excellent. And let's try this burger. Mm. Number four, something I could really use today since it's cold, beef stroganoff. We are going to do a beef stroganoff. Yep, a nice hearty meal here. I've got uh, some beef, I've got some noodles. It's gonna be fantastic. I also have some wine that we're gonna enjoy as well. Uh, but all of this is to wrap up a great day of hiking and just enjoying a new park. Now to the pan, I've added a little bit of cream and a little bit of Dijon mustard, uh, stirring that up, letting that cook down for a little bit. And the last thing I'm gonna add into this is some sour cream in just a bit. Uh, I dropped the pasta. The pasta is now cooking. It's egg noodles, it shouldn't take that long. We're getting close to having a great dinner. I am gonna have a salad with this just so I have some greenery. Um, Mom always likes to make sure that I have some greenery in my food. There you have it, beef stroganoff. I've got a salad, Caesar dressing, uh, some Sutter Home Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, let's try out the stroganoff. Mm. It's absolutely fantastic. Number three, an easy thing to do out on the road, seared scallops with cheesy polenta. We are gonna do a seared scallop with some polenta. 
filled with cream and cheese. And this is going to be a meal that you can do on the road and do it quick and easy and have such a good time. So what do you say? Let's get it started. I'm adding in some Italian cheese mix that I got from the store. Uh, I'm also going to add in a little bit more cream. Uh, and then I also have some dried Parmesan cheese uh, that I have here. I'm going to add that into the mix, stir it up, and continue to make this ooey, gooey, and lots of cheesy. Oh, this was the best part of cooking these because you could start to smell it and start to get a sense that this meal was coming together. Everything looks great. It is time to plate this bad boy up and eat it. Seared scallops with uh, onions and basil from my own garden. Uh, I also had some rosemary in there from my own garden. Uh, and then it's on top of a bed of cheesy polenta. Mm. Let's see how this one turned out. Delicious polenta and the scallops. Mm. Cooked to perfection. Number two, Argentinian surf and turf. There is no need to eat poorly when you're on the road in your RV or car camping. And now tonight is no different. So for tonight, we're gonna do something special. We're calling it Argentinian surf and turf. What is that? And when you flip it over, I'm gonna add in some rosemary, some butter, and then I'm gonna constantly baste that until it's fully cooked. So the last thing I have to do is put some butter in the pan, toast up some ciabatta bread, and then it's plated it up and see how it all turns out. So there you have it, Argentinian surf and turf. I've got some Kona light uh, beer here, uh, some Sole grapefruit uh, water. Let's test it out. Mm. Shrimp is perfect. So is the steak. And the number one meal for 2022 for car camping, ah, chorizo and shrimp paella. We're gonna do one pan paella, shrimp and chorizo done in a cast iron skillet. It will be fantastic. And this is a, a recipe that you can do easily on the road. <clears throat> I'm getting hungry. Let's go do this. Now this is where it starts to get really good. You wanna add in your chorizo. I use pork chorizo in this. You wanna get it in there, stir it up, and start cooking it down. Next in the pan is your rice. You really wanna get this all mixed together, coat it, with the tomatoes and chorizo and just stir it up so it's ready uh, to add in the liquid in just a bit. Oh buddy, time to add in some chicken stock. Uh, you want it to cover your rice. Stir it up just a little bit just so everything is coated and then you really need to just let it start to cook. Time to get the shrimp into the rice. I've cleaned and deveined them. I'm putting them just under the first level of the rice uh, and then also making sure 
that uh, some of the chicken stock covers it as well. You want to spread them all out. And just let the whole thing bake out, cook out, and get ready to eat it. There you have it. It is a chorizo and shrimp paella. Let's try it, dig into it. It looks fantastic. A nice crust on the bottom with this rice. And the shrimp. Perfect. So there you have it. You see, it is easy to eat on the road and chef it up and have fun. I hope that when you're out and about, you take care of yourself and eat something good. Hey, that's gonna do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then of course you can follow me on the website at rvjedi.com. Get out there, enjoy. Who knows what's gonna happen in 2023? But I do know one thing, if you eat well, you'll be well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.